This is Combs' eye test. And as you guys know, I don't like to go off of just stats. I like to go off of things that I see, things that I watch, the way players are playing on the field, and not just exactly what their numbers are telling you. Well, this one actually has nothing to do with numbers on the field. This actually has to do with an organization off the field. The Detroit Lions were everybody's pick at the end of last season. Oh, they're coming. They were 9-8. and eight. They had a great, great season. They, they finished strong, and they're coming. Next year, they're going to be everybody's darling pick. As a matter of fact, I was starting to think I might pick them, too, to win the NFC North. And then the Detroit Lions got to be the Detroit Lions again. They panicked. They did all those things that they do. As soon as it was like, they were like, oh, wow, everybody's picking us to do, to win. We're, we're, we might actually do something this year. What do we do? You know what? Let's trade DeAndre Swift. Let's trade Jeffrey Okuda. Let's draft a running back with the number eight overall pick. Let's draft, <laughs> let's not draft, you know, anybody that can help us with the run stopping, which we were ranked 32nd in the year last year. Let's not draft anybody that can help us with the passing offense that was right 26th in the league last year let's not do any of that stuff <laughs> let's go ahead and get rid of two of our really good young players that we spent really good high draft picks on just two to three years ago that's what the detroit lions have done that's what the detroit lions did with this draft that's what they did with trades they were like you know what we can't handle this, so we're not going to give anybody for Jared Goff to throw the ball to, other than Amon Ross St. Brown, who will probably get killed by the week three, because we don't have anybody that can block either. And you know what we didn't do? Draft somebody that can block. And we have Jared Goff, a non-mobile quarterback that we can't block for. So, in turn, the Detroit Lions took the this draft, and without any other team in this division making a pick, had the Bears not made a pick, had the Vikings not made a pick, had anybody else not made a pick, the Green Bay Packers not made a pick, everybody in that division got better just because of what the Lions did in the draft. The Lions made everybody in the division better by the things that they decided to do in this draft. And, you know, I listened to our guy over there with the Lions Talk podcast yesterday. I commented, did everything I needed to do to help him out, gain some viewers. But I could not even begin to fathom that even he believed the stuff he was trying to spew <laughs> and trying to say about the Lions actually having a good draft, about the Lions actually making the right move. Because if you believe this, either A, you're not watching – or B, you're 10 times smarter about football than anybody else on the face of the earth because you're the only one that believes that what the Lions did helped them get better. The Lions went out and got worse over the draft. The Lions went out and got worse over the offseason. They did everything they could to hand the division back to whoever else wanted it because they can't handle the pressure of maybe being a successful organization. That's Combs' eye touch.